Hi, I'm Eric Moss, owner of Rock City Fitness, and today I'd like to show you the Dumbbell Matrix. Now the Dumbbell Matrix, there's different variations of it, but the one I'm going to show you is the one that I like to use. Uh, the Dumbbell Matrix really is um, consists of four different exercise movements done in a continuous circuit. So it's upper body and lower body combination. And when I go through this full workout, I'm really training every part of my body in one exercise um, circuit. First, I'd like to walk through with you um, what the parts of the dumbbell matrix are. So I'm going to just kind of step through it and then I'm going to actually show you the full thing in real speed. The first part is a pressing motion. Okay? So with each of the exercise parts, we're going to do three planes of motion. So the planes of motion are sagittal, frontal, and transverse. So for the pressing part, the sagittal plane is in this position. Okay? The frontal plane is in this position, the transverse plane is this position. Okay? The next part to the dumbbell matrix is the pulling motion. Okay? So, sagittal plane, we're going to do basically a regular bicep curl. Frontal plane, we're going to do a row. For the transverse plane, we're going to do another one. Okay? So, notice when I do the transverse plane, I'm rotating my body. Next part to the dumbbell matrix is lunging. So sagittal plane, forward lunge. Frontal plane, lateral lunge. And transverse plane is a turning lunge. Okay, the fourth part to the dumbbell matrix is combining the lower body with the upper body. So sagittal plane, forward lunge. Cross. Lateral lunge to cross. Transverse lunge to cross. Okay, repetitions are 18 for each part, 6 for each three seconds. So the pressing would be 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the same for pulling, for lunging, and for lunge to press. So that's the dumbbell matrix.